everyone. Please excuse my super chip nail varnish. I don't even have nail varnish on this little finger. Um, but I thought I would sit down and quickly film an unboxing of my September Brimbles box. I will leave the link in the description to the box as always. Um, I get a box every single month because I'm on Anna's design team, but I don't always get a chance to film an unboxing. Uh, but if you do want to see what sort of projects I make with my boxes, you can go to my blog and to Anna's blog because a blog post goes up every month from each design team member. So, now that that intro's out of the way, um, September's box was really beautiful. It's sort of like a um, woodland dream catcher, um, boho type theme. This is the little postcard that came in the box with this hand-drawn dream catcher. Um, all the artwork is by Anna, as always. The second star to the right shines in the night for you to tell you that the dreams you plan really can come true. It's from Peter Pan. I often think that September is like our second new year. This has something to do with the start of the new school year, I think. Well, for me it does anyway, as it is so ingrained in me. You wind down to summer and become a bit lazy and stagnant, I think. Okay, well maybe not stagnant, but just chilled out and going with the flow. September, everything ramps back up again. The kids go back to school and everyone is back in the office. It is kind of a time to get back into the swing of thing things, and I find myself setting new goals and feeling more inspired to pick things up and get doing stuff, either creatively or other types of goals. Is this just me? A boho box with dream catchers, arrows and feathers has been requested for some time now and I was thinking about when in the year it would be a nice fit. I then started to think a bit more about starting afresh in September and turning those dreams into plans. See what I did there? And thinking of boho foxes and bears sprung to mind, so I put it all together in my head and thought September would be a nice time. A gentle ease into autumn as the days start to get shorter and colder, but I will talk more about autumn next month. Enjoy, Anna. If you really want to catch your dream, you have to chase it. I love that sentiment. Um, September for me as well always feels like a time for new beginnings. I think it's because I spent so long in education, kind of like the same as Anna said. From the ages of four till uh, 21, I was in education. So I think that's probably why it's so ingrained in me that the September um, school year is like a new start for me. And it's a new start for me this year too, because I start my new job tomorrow on the 5th of September. So yeah. So I nearly always get the stationery box, but there's a sticker subscription, a personal planner box, a A5 planner box, I think there's a big stationery box, then there's the normal stationery box, and I might be leaving some out, but um, I always get the stationery one. And first of all I have this postcard with this gorgeous watercolour feather on it, and it says, Hope is the thing with feathers. Very, very pretty. And it says, these are from cardlover.cn and lots of people um, got different ones. Geraldine put a post on the group asking people to share their feather postcards and we all had different ones, so that's fun. We then got these stamps, which I will take out of the packaging because I'm thinking that there might be a bit of glare. It's an awkward room, my craft room, but we got this stamp set with this gorgeous dream catcher on it, clouds, a little windmill, dream big, this bicycle, believe in your dreams, yay. Those are very pretty. I got this washi tape with feathers on, very cute. We have a little book of post-it notes and the front cover is that dream catcher drawn by Anna and then on the inside we have more of Anna's designs and it's these little arrows with chevrons going down, they're very cute. More of Anna's designs. We have these bear, foxes, arrows, teepees, dream catchers. I love these so much. When we first saw a sneak peek of these, I was like, they have to make it into a box. They have to. Because obviously at first, Anna just sort of sort of plays around and sees what she likes. And we all said to her, these have to be in a box. <laughs> I love the little bear with the little feather headband on. It's so sweet. They're definitely gonna be in my planner this month. Then we have the ephemera, the die cut shapes from the Boho Dreams collection by Kaiser Craft. So I will open this up and we can flick through a little bit. So we've got a bike. This is just like my mum's bike. I'm a dreamer. There's another bike. This little lady. Shine. Just be yourself. Cameras. Lots of sentiments, which I always love in my scrapbooking. 
because I don't use this sort of thing in my planners, it'll all go into my scrapbooking. Although I've been bullet journaling a lot lately and I do um, decorate my bullet journal a bit so maybe they'll make it into there. Very cute. All of these would be great for scrapbooking, all of these sentiments. Oh look, these dream catchers are beautiful. Definitely going to have to try and find a reason to use those. Love her as well with her camera. Feathers again, flowers. These are really pretty. Dare to dream. Photography is the beauty of life captured. I love that. Selfie, more feathers. This says it all. And then finally for the stationery box we have the papers and unfortunately mine got a bit crushed but that's okay. Oh, I'm lying to you. Actually we got this 12 by 12 sticker sheet again from the Boho Dreams collection at Kaiser Craft. Those gorgeous dream catchers again. Feathers, young, wild and free. Lots of word stickers which I love. They're perfect for scrapbooking and also perfect for filling in a little bit of white space in your planner or something. Gorgeous. And then we have the papers, so this one has got this lovely black and white feather pattern and then this little girl back on here with the watercolour that says live, love and take pictures. That one's called feathers. This one's called daydreamer which has that big black and white dream catcher which you could probably colour in if you wanted to and then all these word strips with black and white words on the back and then we have a repeat of daydreamer so that is this month's stationery box i hope you enjoyed seeing it and again if you want to see the projects that we make with this month's box then make sure to follow all of the dt members on instagram mine is always linked below and again you can see our projects on my blog and anna's blog yes i'll see you next time guys bye